Hello friends, hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to look into the Terraform taint command. We will look into it, what is the taint command all about and how we can going to use it. So let's proceed. So you can find in your working environment, in the organizations you are working, that you created several resources using the Terraform command. That is the Terraform managed resources and some of the users will log in into that particular resources and do some modifications. So this is some, something that you can find in every organizations that some of the users do some changes and don't commit their changes into the Terraform file. So when you run the Terraform apply command, you will find several changes, several changes produced by the Terraforms. So Terraform taint command informs the Terraform that a particular object has been degraded or damaged. The Terraform taint command manually mark our Terraform managed resources as tainted, forcing it to be destroyed and reacted in the next apply. So you are just marking that resources because in the many organization there is a clear cut instructions that if there are any changes that happens in the or in the, in, the, in any environment, just mark that resources as the taint so that when you apply the changes in the next uh, next uh, executions of the command that resources will be get destroyed and recreated again okay so um, you can find in, in every organizations you can find that uh, people just forget to change uh, whatever they changed in the resources and they didn't committed it uh, or modify to the modification that it form file and that will create a mess so the use cases it could be used for the recreating of the ec2 instance we are going to look into the lab session for all the clarity uh, about the terraform uh, that if someone logged and made some manual changes so marking a resource as taint force a rebuild of certain resources without doing a full destroy so suppose you have uh, several report resources that you are creating and there is problem with the only one resources that someone did some changes in the environment so you can mark that particular resources as taint okay if you if you relate it with the um, kubernetes then there is also a taint command where we are putting some restrictions on the node so a, a pod that have the tolerations of that particular taint that can be deployed into that particular uh, that pod deploy get deployed into particular uh, node so in the similar way we are marking this resource as tainted so that when the terraform apply command execute or you you run a terraform plan it will show that the some resources getting destroyed and some resources getting created uh, for that particular resource in which you marked as a taint okay so the command will uh, uh, will not modify the infrastructure so when you marking a resource as a taint it will just uh, mark that particular uh, resource as tainted in the terraform state file so it's not going to modify anything in the infrastructure uh, but does modify the state file in order to make uh, a resource as a tainted okay so i hope uh, this all things um, gets uh, cleared so when you um, uh, apply the changes okay when you mark the resource as tainted and do the apply then that resources will get destroyed and then recreated okay and uh, that particular um, state information is also go gone uh, for the next uh, for the next um, uh, deployment you can say okay so let's jump into the lab session to have a clear understanding on this subject okay so, so this is the visual studio code and uh, I, I hope you all are familiar with all the commands. This is the AMIID because this is the simplest one and I already provided all the information in several videos. The reason I am selecting the Mumbai reason and the T2 micro is the instance type. Okay. So this is the Terraform command. Okay. This is uh, related with the uh, versioning and the provider. We are using the AWS. Okay. So here we are creating two instance. Okay. The instance have the different different locals name okay you can find uh, different different locals so currently we don't have a, um, a, any other files so for this i am going to uh, use the terraform init command so this will uh, download the binaries for the aws uh, and then we can um, uh, execute the plan and then try to create the uh, two ec2 instance in the mumbai region 
that will have the tag name of the web server one and the web server two. So currently, if you look into my AWS console, uh, we don't have any running instance in the Mumbai region. Okay, so now I'm going to apply it. Let's execute the plan first. Terraform plan. So it make it a good practice to always see the plan uh, before uh, applying the changes. Okay, so now it looks good. Uh, so if you see here, it's trying to create uh, the two um, resources. Okay, one of the EC2 instance, mm -hmm. EC2 instance uh, with the name. Let me make it maximum size. Terminal one. Okay, EC2 instance. And here you can see the web server one. So two EC2 instance we are going to create. This is fine, and I am going to provide the auto approval, which is very dangerous command. To be very honest but uh, my terraform file don't have uh, such complexity so terraform apply or simply run the apply don't use the auto approve feature okay asking for the confirmations yes So it will create a two EC2 instance in the Mumbai region. So it will not take uh, more than 10 seconds. Okay, we will find the instance, two instance very soon here. Okay, so when the instance get created, what we will do? We will understand that someone did uh, something in the web server too. Or any of the server web server 2 or some web server 1 so some of the user in your organizations login into the web server 2 and do some mess okay and download it some uh, some instant do, do some installations or do some configuration changes okay that is not mentioned in the data form file so when you apply it in the next time you will find there is several changes okay so uh, in every organization in that in such situations it's clearly instructions that mark that resources at the tainted so it will get uh, destroyed and recreated so we assume that this is the system that uh, have some problem by whatever the reason okay and we want we want to mark it as a tent okay so the instance get created already data form Tent. Okay, we are tenting uh, which particular um, uh, AWS instance. Okay, but uh, we are selecting this one. Okay, so let me paste it here and dot with the EC2, the local name. So you will find that the um, resource uh, get tainted. But um, suppose uh, you by mistake use this particular instance, but you have to uh, mark a resource of um, web server one. So you can um, uh, use an untaint command for that. Just uh, use untaint. Okay. So uh, that will be untainted. Okay. This is fine. You understand how to mark the resource as tainted and untainted. Okay, and now I am doing it again, tainting the resources. So if you look into the state Terraform state file here, uh, which resource we marked as tainted? EC2, the second one. Okay, so the first one is clear. There is nothing mentioned here. But if you move into the state file of the second instance, you will find the status as a tainted. So what we are doing, we are not uh, doing any modification in the, at the infra infra infrastructure level. We are doing it as a in the state level. Okay. So this is the local copy and this keeps all the informations. So if you uh, want to untaint any resources, you, you, you have to execute this command. You cannot allow to move, modify this particular state file. This is the very dangerous file and you don't have to do any types of modification. And this is not allowed also in the organizations. Okay, so the resource is tainted. 
now what we are going to do we are going to see the plan it's always better to see the plan as the resource is marked as tainted so it's refreshing and what it's saying is going to add one resources okay and destroying one resources so which resources it's going to add because the ec2 instance okay the second instance is is a marked as tainted so it's going to replace it so it will get destroyed and recreated so two uh, two of the functionality that they it's going to execute okay so terraform apply and now i'm going to give the auto approve okay so first it will destroy the resource as tainted and then i try to create it okay so destroying started getting destroyed so you can see that the web server one is gone and very soon you will see that the new web server two again appeared so currently it is still destroying so wait for a few seconds so you will find a new ec2 instance will appear here okay now it's going to create a uh, uh, new resources okay so you can find uh, the web server uh, to gets appeared here okay so the the resources and if you see the state file here let me open it again for the ec2 you can see that the status of the tainted uh, that, that we marked it is not 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 available so if you run the same command again so as there no none of the resources is again marked as tainted so it will just refresh it the environment with your local um, uh, configuration in the terraform file and it will say that there is no changes that we are going to apply okay so if you look into the backup of the state file here you can find that the, um, the resource uh, have the information as detected so you can refer uh, the one level down of the history of the environment of the state file in the backup file that i already mentioned in several videos okay so it's keep a uh, one level down history of the terraform state file so hope you, you guys like this video and if you want to subscribe this channel please go ahead and subscribe it and press a like button and thanks for watching this video have a nice day